Okay, greetings. I'm going to show you. This is for our web app people, so AutoCAD web app. Um, you guys are getting something, uh, a video made for you before a uh, regular desktop version of AutoCAD, so kudos to you. Now, this is going to help you. Uh, I think this is another way uh, to uh, open a new drawing, uh, so to speak. So let's let's say for the sake of argument, you don't open up a border and title block, you know, to start with. So traditionally, what I've shown you guys so far is you open up a new border and title lock, right? And we go and start drawing inside of there. It all kind of makes sense because we do the border and title lock first, and then we draw everything inside. Uh, this the, the way we do it right now is that we have to uh, come in here and then we can you know double click on here and edit our stuff and and everything else and it's it, it works that way you know but then we when we start doing saving we have to save as and we got to do this be sure we're renaming so we're not saving over on top of something however what if you didn't have to do it that way okay what if I could just start creating a drawing okay um, Let's say that I, I, this one right here. Let's just say that I start a new drawing. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of all of this first. And I do my entire drawing, my, my three view drawing, just like the one we did uh, last week before we left. Okay, but I didn't know my border and title block. Okay, I, don't, uh, I don't have border and title block yet. Um, how do I take this and copy this and put this on? You don't have to do that. You can bring in your border and title block and place it on here. It's, it's sort of like copying, pasting, but not really. But you can bring that in, um, put it on this drawing in what's called to in, in what's called a block. Okay? So you go over here to this tab, you go to blocks, and we don't have any in here. And that, that's okay. We can browse for blocks. A block can basically be any saved AutoCAD drawing that you have. So I have one called border and title block. Comes in and I say insert, and you get a little preview of like, hey, look at it. You've got, uh, I don't know what's hanging off the side there, but you've got this block already that you already made for this drawing. Like you want to, now, it has all these different types of um, uh, features that you can do to it, where its base point is. Right now, as you can see on this screen, the base point, see where my cursor is? See that's offset a little bit? It's the base point is uh, zero zero. Okay, you can go and change that base point if you want. You can change the scale to make it bigger if you want. You can rotate it. You can do something that's called exploding it, which I'm going to show you in a second. Okay, but for me, it's asking me where do I specify my insertion point? I want my insertion point to be zero, comma, zero. Okay, and it plops it right on there for me. Now I can go on here and I can move these objects if I want to to make sure they are centered properly in my I don't know why that's clicking probably oh probably because this drawing when I brought it in had uh, ortho snap on uh, and place this thing where I want it now this is the one issue that you're gonna have that you're gonna kind of run into is that this block acts as one feature all the time okay all the time it acts as one feature on here so if I go to click to try and edit or change something like this, it selects everything. Okay, so I can't go in here and edit this thing. However, what you may be able to do is explode it. Okay, when you go to explode it, you go and you click on here. Now it exploded it. Now it's separated all these. So now they are all their own little separate entities again just like they would be, okay? So that is how you bring in a block on the AutoCAD web app.